In this next section, we're going to look at the tools that you would use to create a file system. Now, file systems are created usually during system install, when BSD is installed on a new computer. You can also create file systems when a new device, a new drive, for example, is added. Usually, those are the only two times which you'll actually create one. Now, you can create file systems using two particular tools that we'll cover, sysinstall and fdisk. You can also change certain things about the file systems as well with those two tools, although it's difficult to make changes after the fact, after the system is installed. Now, file systems can be different types, and we'll see a couple of those different types as we go through the next session or two. And some of those types are the swap type, meaning that's a swap partition. That would be like the paging file in Windows, if you're familiar with that. You have BSD file systems, which is the UFS by default. You have Windows, which could be FAT, FAT32, or NTFS. And you have Linux, which could be EXT2, EXT3, or Riser. There are several different file systems out there, and usually they're designated by a particular number. And it's really just a matter of getting familiar with the numbers and how they're assigned to figure out which one is which when you're looking at them in these different tools. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at sysinstall and fdisk. We're in our FreeBSD virtual machine. And sysinstall was used when we first installed the box. And it can also be called from the terminal just by typing sysinstall. And it's going to give us a basic menu of things we can do to reconfigure the system if we like. And what we want to do is just kind of go down here and look at the option, the configure option. And we also want to go down and look at fdisk. Now we can look at two things here. We can look at fdisk, which gives us a menu version of fdisk. And we can use label, which is a menu version of BSD label. Let's look at fdisk. And what we can do is view the geometry and how it's set up of the disk here. Now we're not going to make any changes during this session because we don't want to wipe out our operating system. During a later demonstration, we will actually create a new file system using sysinstall and fdisk. So what we see here is the one disk that we have, 8 gig disk, and basically we have the offset, and that's where it starts, and the size and the end, and what type of file system is on there. So we have ADSO, AD0S1, slice 1, which is using FreeBSD, and we have some unused blocks there as well. We can create slices. We can reset the drive geometry. We can also delete slices. Now again, we're not going to create any or delete any right now because we don't want to lose our disk. But this is essentially the sysinstall version of fdisk. And fdisk also comes in a command line version. Let's go take a look at that. And what we want to do is cancel. And we're going up to exit. And we're going to exit install here. And we're back at the prompt, as you can see. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. And then let's look at fdisk. Now we have a little bit of information that gives this given to us on fdisk and it basically gives us partition information here and again this is some of the same information that we get from a sysinstall. We get partition sizes, starting block, ending block and so forth. We can also make changes with fdisk if we like and those are through various switches and subcommands. fdisk is contextual in that once we get started we can actually choose commands from a menu to start making changes to the disk and its geometry and partitions and slices. So we're not going to make those right now. Again, we don't want to wipe out the existing information we have on the disk, but we will do that during a demonstration later. Those are just two tools that we can use to create and configure disks, slices, and partitions.